What's up, guys? I'm OSRG. Welcome back to another UK adventure. I'm here with the gang. I got all those world TV. What's up? Exploring with fighters. And I got our new friend Matthew over here. Matthew, what's your channel called? The Secret Vault. The Secret oh, Vault. I love that. Now, Matthew and all of us, we are going to be scaling down like a 100 foot ladder down some type of cliff to get into some type of like, what is it, a cave, a tunnel? It's an old quarry mine, and they used to grow mushrooms in there for the Heinz Food Company. But then they uh, started becoming a, a different type of uh, growing operation. It became a cannabis grow room, one of the biggest busts in the country at this place. And then eventually it got shut down. Why did it get shut down? Some explorers found it and exposed it, got raided, and that was it. Gone. And we're going to be risking our lives to get into this place tonight. So smash that like button, go follow everyone that you guys are seeing here, and leave all the links in the description below. And don't forget, guys, get yourself that new UK merch. The LEL movement is strong here in the UK. I will. Wait, what is this? What's this? Yeah. Just be careful, there's a bit of barbed wire on it, if you can navigate that. Watch out for the barbed wire. Well, we'll soon we'll soon hear about it if you uh, do, especially in that location. There we go. So these cows are just. <laughs> holy cow! Yeah. Oh, do you want a fun fact? Literally, holy cow! <laughs> do, you want, do you want a fun fact? Wait, wait, wait! Fun fact. I want a fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> um, more people die by a cow than sharks in the world. Really? Yep. So. Now they might look cute, but believe me. I've been chased oh, by one in the Dominican. Really? Yeah, actually. Oh, I was going to say, well, I can just walk around here. I, mean, I think there's barbed wire there too, bro. Yeah, right. this this used to be really hard to get over because they had all thorns on the top as well. But somebody's done us a favour, look. <laughs> somebody's left some quite high quality rope in here. Yeah. yeah. Hundred times easier than it used to be. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's some quite nice rope, yeah. That might be coming on with me, though, yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I got it. Oh my god, dude. This is a proper. This is a proper. Oh, I'm actually passed away here. 
Love so uh, we're going to get a few very careful because this is like real danger. I was kind of debating in the car if I should, if I should come around, but I guess got to come, right? So you want to be a Pokemon master? The Charizard kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, uh, this is... I'm, you know that feeling when you're on a roller coaster? Yeah. I'm getting that feeling. Oh right my god! Holy yeah. Yeah. Yes! Good stuff, right. boys. This is a good one. Yeah. Yes, this is what I look for. Well, it looks relatively safe, though. At least it's like enclosed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, my, my best advice is that um, certainly when it's the first time you've done it, your adrenaline levels are going to be quite high, so you're going to be gripping on, white knuckle sort of thing, yeah? Well, uh, try not to sort of like uh, over tense yourself and relax. You Take... don't know me that well. <laughs> try to relax. <laughs> try, try to relax, okay? And when you feel tired, because you, I think you, when, when you climb, when you're tense, you actually use a lot of energy, so just relax. Right. Hook your arms around and just take 30 seconds breather. Just take as many breaths as you need on the way down. Don't don't push yourself, yeah? And you'll need a lot of breaks on the way up. And remember, guys, don't try this yourself. Let us do the stupid stuff for you. You can just sit at home, leave a the comment. We're going to risk our life for you today. How deep is this tunnel? It's down. about 100 foot down, I think. Holy moly. Holy. Yeah. 100 feet down. If you fall... You kind of die. Yeah, you kind of die. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, Start like a, <laughs> Start a UK adventure. Let's go. Yeah. Holy shit. So always, always, um, you know, two hands. Don't do not do anything clever. If you, if you can lock your cameras off, then do, because you're going to need both hands, I would say. Yeah. yeah I'm going to do my uh, intro right here. All right, go yeah. I want him to tell that. And I just basically sit, sit like that. You can also lean against the back like this if you want to. You okay. can just put your back. Like oh, that. Okay, can I do my intro here and then you can say what you said before about the history of this? Yeah, do you want me to come back up? Or? Yeah, cool. Hold on. Yeah. Um, after that, if you want to do thumbnail before we go down, give me thumbnails in here. Later. Oh, yeah, you can lean on the thing. Yep. So how are you going down so fast? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got both hands. I think you're using one hand, aren't you? Yeah. steps down. You coming down, Dan? Yeah. Good.
go. Oh, not far. Okay, let's go because we haven't got far to go. He's going to be taking his time. Here we are as it opens out. It opens out into Hey man, how are you doing? Yeah, it's down there, it's tough. That was a long time, Yeah, it does take a while, doesn't it? And you, ha you have to take breaks on the way back up, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not too bad. I mean, basically, what you what you got to remember is uh, we're at the highest point now. Everything else goes downhill and out to the to the road, as it were, which originally was open. Um, so, yeah, it's not. Yeah, there's only one way in now. So, if you need to get back to this exit, work your way all the way to the top. And once you're at the top area, move around all the various tunnels. But it is quite big. You'd be surprised. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, at least to drive drive uh, vehicles on the on the roads here. Is it driving in here? Yeah, they had uh, you know cars. Um, I think it's been abandoned for about uh, five years since the cannabis people oh, yeah. exploring with fighters, uh, <laughs> Dan. Uh, but I've, I've, been, I've had my name up here, like "fuck off," secret vaults, and you know all that sort of stuff. So you know you made it when they tell you to "fuck off." Yeah. yeah. I doubt there's anybody in here that Very unlikely, yeah. Has been known though, I mean, I, I, I have come down once or twice and found people in here, but yeah. didn't know who they were. Come down alone? Sorry, yeah, say again? Come alone? Uh, I sometimes have come down here on my own, but generally it's at least two of us. Yeah, it's always good just in case. Well, it's mostly because somebody asks me to take them down, I take them down. It's got to the point where I've been down here so many times now, it's kind of like a <laughs> <laughs> bit yawn. I mean, but it's it's cool, right? It's definitely worth it. Oh, it's a lovely place, and apart from this area, which is a bit uh, graffitied, uh, most of the walls are all white, so it's uh, it's quite vintage. Hasn't been abused to death. We're still a long way up there. Oh yeah, it's probably got about 50, 50 runs left. Rather than come down slow, than extremely fast. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You good, Aldo? Yeah, just trying to find out. It's a workout, right? Yeah, I'm like using three fingers on that. <laughs> it's not easy with a big camera. I've actually filmed with a steady cam, holding it all the way, you know, like coming down. Not easy. Oh, gimbal. Hello. Hello. Okay. Stand right behind you. Yeah. Here he comes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Going back up is going to be fun. <laughs> all, right. all right. Aldo has made it officially. 
You are now a cave person. Woo! <laughs> no cave dweller. All right, Dan. You good, Dan? Yep. These guys all have gloves all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm the only one that didn't have gloves. <laughs> yeah, there was those are... Somebody left gloves on the side, so you we... Know what uh... is? I don't remember it rattling the way it was. Mm, maybe you're getting... Coming loose. No. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out on the way up. What the hell? Oh, why not? It's probably, it's probably, it's been taking all the screws out of it. Imagine a cow that came in and just falls down the hole and blocks the hole. Yeah. Like, that'd be so fun, but so funny at the same time. <laughs> we definitely right. just got it. Got it on the ladder. There's a guy called, uh, yeah, I remember I told you, someone was going around setting fire to the world. Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah. They had a shack in here, which they were living in. It had two beds. So it was like the work, the, the cannabis people's uh, sheds. He set, he set fire to that. Oh, I have peace. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm not thinking about it. I'm pretty sure I heard someone's voice. No, I'm not even coming too. It is deceptive. Yeah, we thought we've heard people in here when we're down here. All right, we'll see you guys later. I'm split up. <laughs> All right, I might have to sit up and go off my left a little bit. No. Oh. Well, this is the highest point. So, do you want to find a way back as he told me, Matthew? Yep. Just follow him. So, I can't remember if we're actually going higher here. I think we probably want to go down. Oops. My name is Jim. you know just walk wherever you want to and then uh, I'll kind of direct you down to the cannabis bit so you can kind of pick up on well, it that's, that's yeah go to the front entrance where the door is, ring 999 and say, right, you need to get us out because there's a cow just blocked us in. <laughs> if you guys want to walk up front and film, you know. That's going up and it goes to a dead end. We gotta go down. I think this type of mine you're probably safe actually. It's um it's the the three stone mines you've got to be a bit more careful of. Yeah. I'm the king of the world, it's so random. Pyramid. I mean he said it's safe, but say that's a you know the only person that could have been stuck there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is serious. Because they used to ride carts through here like uh, with engines on and stuff, so I'm genuinely scared. I never get scared. 
I think it's just for fun, really, um, just to show off. I think there's a um, big water trough just around the corner from there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. There you go. Should be pretty clean water in there. Oh, in the, in the uh, that's that's probably dirty. In the actual uh, thing there, that thing, that's the clean water. Yeah. As long as you don't mind walking across to it. Yeah, this is where they were taking pipes out of this and running them down to where they had the cannabis grow room so they had you know, fresh water. I wonder if this is drinkable. Yeah. Mm, it's I'll come down that hole, so I wouldn't say it's been filtered. <laughs> It hasn't been filtered or anything, but uh, yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. You don't see this every day, like, this is yeah. so crazy. <laughs> so you ever get afraid of like just getting stuck in here, like something falling on a mat? Well, yeah, if, it, if something fell down, it'd be pretty serious. Yeah, you wouldn't live very long, so it'd be over quite quick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the ice challenges are trending now. Yeah. I would actually swim in that if it was warmer. <laughs> well, I mean, even now it is. I don't think it's cut. Sorry. Oh. I think it's cut, it will turn into an infection. <laughs> oh. Pollen must be out tonight. Huh? Pollen must be out tonight. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of yellow rape fields out at the moment, and it's probably coming off the uh, the flowers, I expect. Uh, sometimes they put up uh, sheets to direct the air because they'll have blowers and they'll block off certain areas with sheets so that it, it makes the air flow around a certain way. Hey, you know what this looks like? You guys ever watch those like really old videos that were like taken on low quality iPhones of them going into a cave and like yeah. these weird SCP creature comes after them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This literally looks like one of those places where some weird like cave creature. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some weird cave creature would be like the there's no need to, there's there's no need to call it. He is in the wall and it comes out after the fountain. Yeah, yeah. We're sure it's not on the pelt, it's just got like sleeping bags and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. I actually would have been okay with it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I don't know. I say there's no need to call Dan a weird day. That's uh, right. There's no need to call Dan a weird cave creature. Yeah. That's only a privilege to map. Yeah, 
think these have a purpose. I think these are just a support wall. Might have been, yeah. Because they're not cars, they're not the police ones. Yeah, and there's a supporting column there. Yeah. It might have been that some bits were starting to be suspect, so they... Yeah, yeah. Shoring them up. Yeah, I would have been down earlier, but Andrew didn't wait until 3 p.m. Yeah. Ah. So, is that all right? I said, no. Went on a road trip, and then it's clearly. Yeah. And then I have to take it home. Like, oh, what is it? You just tripped the road or something. Uh, really? Yeah, there was something with that. Oh, yeah. It's just it's a thread. Is it just a thread or is it tripwire? Yeah, it might be connected to explosives. No, you're all for real. It's, oh, it's nylon. It's, it's nylon. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. It's wrapped around you now. What the? Yeah, you just that's fishing wire. <laughs> what the frig? That's it's, actually fishing wire. Do you know what it is? It's probably somebody ran fishing wire through here. So when they're walking, because they were panicking, thinking they'd never find the way out. But it's not that hard to find the way out. <laughs> but they were probably shitting themselves. Okay, please set that up and Sorry. Probably drips. Because we came, we kind of came from up there. Probably drips. Maybe it's drips. But I heard like a conversation. Maybe it's his echo. It's very freaky down here. You think you're hearing people around corners and drips start to yeah. sound like voices and yeah. yeah. That might be it. There's so many people. Might be people. He's a bit back down this way.
<laughs> it's all right. hear voices and you kind of never work out what it is when you're down here Why? I don't know it's it's kind of like you go around corners and then it's not there but you hear all sorts of things when you're underground I don't know if you're paranormal or not or believe in it yeah I do definitely gyms live in caves like this mm. I believe in gyms 100% yeah me too it's like part of my culture so literally there's, there's gyms down we're in the darkness and deep in the cave so these fuckers are around us right now <laughs> they actually live in caves and stuff like that yeah Oh shit, dark places like this. So it's like, dude, can you imagine actually like being under here for a long time? You probably would go and think. Oh yeah. From all the voices that you hear and then. <clears throat> yeah, eventually you're bringing yourself back to church somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure someone has tried something here too. So we came out from here from the place. Yeah, we've gone around in a circle now, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna keep going. All right. All right, well, I think I'll go. Yeah, I'll go this way. All right, so I guess, uh, all right. I'll just. Find him eventually. So did I? Um, did everything like stop with that cord shit? Yeah.
Through. I feel it going the other way now. You might be able to go that way. themselves away. I didn't do that smoke stuff, he didn't do that smoke stuff. <laughs> it's true, they didn't. Thank <laughs> you. 
can see it. They're blinding themselves with their own light. You can be back, right? You can hide around this corner. Hello? <laughs> Yo, the craziest thing is I was <laughs> Bro, there was black smoke. What? Yo, you were just fucking with us? I don't know how to explain it. We were walking, and then I don't know where, we saw a gate, like an off limits area. You're walking. No, no, I swear. And then after the off limits area, a bunch of black smoke started forming. Oh shit, did you get on camera? We got a camera. And then after we started running, and we heard like the. BBC was. Yeah, 100%. You want to see it? I've heard, I've heard of stories no. about uh, walls of black smoke oh, in, see, in the mic. Walls, yeah. walls, of, black smoke walls of black smoke and people have put their hand into them and then pull their hand out but it doesn't move, it just stays yeah, so, there in a wall. Yeah, culture, the smoke? Yeah. Mm. That's culture, that means gins. Oh shit, I thought you were joking. No, no, I'm being 100%. You ever, you ever seen those Saudi mine videos and cave videos where like gins come out or whatever? They're from like Saudi Arabia for the desert? Well, it's kind of, it was kind of like that, I mean, black smoke. So they usually indicate the gin. Hey, let's show them. I actually broke. Fuck this, I don't know. Wait, come back more. Let's actually show them. This is actually, I want to see the reaction. You showed them, I'm going to film whatever I just wait, wait, what, what was it? It was, there was like a, a, a gate. There was, fuck, my hands are too good. Which way? I don't remember anymore. We ran away. Okay, this is you guys. Yeah. Okay, where's the black smoke? Man, that shit was terrifying. This is us coming in. Actual smoke, though. Actual black smoke. Like, and what, it disappeared? Yeah, it really just, No, no, look, look, we had, we had to run away. Like, it was fucking terrifying. Yeah, it was after this. <sighs> I'm gonna film your reaction to this, because this is actually fucking scary. Yeah, shit. Okay, so... Okay. Hey, guys, so I'm gonna film their reactions to this black smoke. Okay, so this is the, uh... Gate that I was telling you, that was off limits, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay, so here's the gate. And we just right. lost them all, I guess. Alright, let's put our fucking torches on for a while. Wait, it was actually right here. It was, what? Because I remember this. No, actually. No. Yeah, it was like right there. Or something. The small just doesn't disappear. That's not CGI. No, there's no way that was CGI. This is uh, where the workers would have um, put their clothes on, so it's like a little workers' dressing room. So workers' changing room. Back up here! Do something just happened to Mark. What? Listen to what he says. No. Yeah. No. What 
What happened? Your light just went off? Your light went off? Jesus. Was it a fully charged? Sorry, I freaked out for a second. Okay. Shit. Was it a full charge? Fuck, that's shit on me. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty dark down here. Bro, I showed them the, the smoke. You showed them? Yeah, that's mad. That, that, that might be like a natural forming thing, but being black, I don't see how I've never seen possible. black smoke like that. Because it looks, it looks almost like, um, I don't know, like a, like a leakage from somewhere. I thought it was like toxic gas, but then I, re I remembered one thing, gins are made of smoke. Why is it only in one area? It's like that story of the, the, the wall of smoke. Because I've heard a story about like people putting their hands in, and pulling their hands out and then trying to go like this, but the smoke just stays there. It's a portal problem. There could be a portal there. That's weird. Do you know the first guys to kind of like experience anything weird like that? No, we you? actually caught it on camera, which is which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got it on camera too. I haven't reviewed my footage. I actually don't want to because I fucking hate gyms. Like I hate messing with them. Mm. Look at this cart though. Let's change the subject, eh hey boys? Let's uh yeah. have to get out here. Yeah, nice nice looking cart here. Anybody want to ride? Uh, here, look at it. Yeah. I don't think it's moving very far. Well. The wheels are kind of uh, frozen. I can't believe we caught that black smoke. I'm still losing my mind. Sure we came from that direction. Yeah. Those things in there are what, what they used to put the mushrooms into, so they would stack the mushrooms in those boxes before they take them out. I found all the weed plant buckets. You found all the cannabis there, right? cannabis grow room, yeah, yeah. So if you keep going down here, you end up at the main entrance, which yeah, is this is where my light shut off, right? Is that where you're standing? Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is and, terrifying. And then I fumbled my flashlight because I'm so pretty scared. <laughs> I'm going to explore this pretty in the dark sometimes. <laughs> well, me. yeah, it, you, you'd find it very hard to get out here without a torch. Uh, my light is barely doing it. I, I think if you didn't have a light here, I think you will never get out. Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Unless somebody shows up. Forget about it. Here we are. What's this door? Is this door Cannab door? Cannabis grow rooms, look. Yeah. Oh, it's the uh, the classic thing. Damn. Oh. That would have been. What the fuck? What? That's the sort of room I thought. Bro, I'm telling you, it's that black smoke that's after us. Jesus. So, what happened? Did anybody die in this game, by the way? <coughs> Unknown. Don't know about that. Uh -huh. But it's, some, it's an old quarry in France with industry. Yeah, the people that were building it. Yeah. Well, what was that? The story, I don't know if it's true, but the story goes that um, kids came down here and they found the cannabis grow room and the, the people who were here grabbed hold of the kids, beat, beat them up what the? and then they were you know, bruised and cut, yeah. went home and the parents demanded they tell them what was going on and they said, oh, there's this like, you know, people are growing stuff and then the police came down here. Now, had the guys not beat up these kids and just told them to go away, like, you know, stop trespassing or something like that, they might have kept their mouths shut. Yeah, that's and, true. Mm. So, uh, I guess don't beat up the kids. Don't beat well, up the kids, story. yeah. This is the police's idea of uh, disabling cannabis grow room is just slash it with a knife a few times. <laughs> now, a bit, of, a bit of tape on there and it'll be back to new. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Why did they abandon this place though? That's uh, my question. Like something must have had, like... I just don't know, it was... Uh, it must be more to the viable, story. Viable, it, you know, it didn't get sold. They tried to auction these places a few times. Trying to like screw this, too much money. Yeah. It'd be ideal as a wine storage thing because it's always the same temperature all year round. Yeah. It's like 13 degrees, so you don't need refrigeration equipment. Yeah, it could be used for something. Yeah. <sighs> hey, look, there's all the trash there. Whatever. Yeah. And there's something. There's a, is that a gateway behind it? Or the entrance down the The gateway to hell. You can really get lost down here. More, more grow rooms. I think we counted there was about 20 down here if you find them all. Yeah. Well, and there's the earth. They were just turfing out the earth into a, a corner. That's where we found some of the cannabis plants still in the uh, yeah. in the earth. Yeah. 
So we're using these big pools for the water to uh, feed the plants. Okay. I guess you got a... So it's a little kiddie pool. Yeah, fancy a dip? Yeah. Mm. Oh, you have a life jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't really... All right. wonder if my feet could touch the bottom. <laughs> Hard shoulder off. Some more. Oops, sorry. Yo, this is this is pretty amazing, by the way. Dan, on the corner, probably. Hey, that makes it serious. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Right. The gym. <laughs> gym. Weightlifting. Oh, I get it. And I like lifting weight. Yeah. yeah. And these little round pellets are something to do with. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really light. kids go missing in these types of places and then they're never found again and all the kids just they just love like going to these abandoned places and it's like yo what are you doing okay I this was a proper industrial site this look these are all the fertilizers they were using these guys were working really hard yeah I think I think a bottle like that costs about two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. So that's two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred thousand, twelve hundred. For a full one. Fourteen hundred. So yeah, it'd be fourteen hundred pounds worth of fertilizer in that area there. Holy crap! Was just like random plants or? Oh wait, you said there was like a tomato thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> is that the is that the brand right there? Oh uh, yeah. Jeez. Was that? Hello. Is anyone there? Give him down here. Jeez. Hello. Oh, it's loud enough. Maybe we maybe we stumbled across something. Shh. I don't know. Oh, down there. Hello? Is there anything there? Okay guys, so I'm gonna show Matthew what Garden of Ban Ban is. And we're going to show him who Jester is, because he has no clue what this is. You've never played Garden of Bad or anything like that, right? So we're going to watch it together, and we're going to react. So here we go. All right, so this is the game. This is Garden of Bad Man. And the whole premise is you get a drone, or you fly it around, and you have to escape from monsters. So Jester is one of the monsters that we just encountered. Okay. So let's see. I've never... So there you see. Like, it looks yeah. like a... What is that? Yeah. Who was that? Who was that? Hello? Yo, did you hear that? Yeah. Guys, we're supposed to be watching the video reacting, but 
Hello? You right if I start up? Start up a ladder? See you in a minute. So close to the top, folks. So close. Yep. 
I'm gonna leave this for the next Yo, can somebody get a shot of me coming up? I'll, I'll take the footage for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm filming on my 360 so I can probably send you that. Okay.